Good evening, international Basel fans, and welcome to the 2023 FIBA Basel World Cup. We're live here at the Aranetta Coliseum, but before we get started, please enjoy the local entertainments. Well, it's going to be a battle of the FIBA America Cup here at the 2023 FIBA Basketball Cup as at the moment Puerto Rico will be taking on the Dominican Republic. Well, hi everybody. Good evening. Good afternoon. I am your commentator, Josh Ben, alongside head coach of the Austin Spurs, Will Voigt. Coach, this is going to be a Central American battle. Absolutely. A big rivalry game here and obviously a lot at stake as both of them vying to be one of the top two teams out of this group. Well, Puerto Rico, of course, coming into this competition with a lot of expectations. But, you know, you know, when we talk about the battle of the FIBA Americas in this game, Puerto Rico have won the America Cup three times. The Dominican Republic, they've never finished higher than third place. So this is a big moment. But, you know, the experts coming into this game would say that Puerto Rico, they probably are the underdogs. Yeah, I think uh, the way that the Dominican Republic has played so far in this tournament, the addition of Cat obviously changing what they look like. But as you mentioned, Puerto Rico getting the best of the Dominican Republic the last time they played at the America Cup in 2022. Well, Puerto Ricans coming out now with Ismael Romero. Well, the big man, Toro, playing very much relief minutes, but it's all going to be about the man who's about to come out, Tremont Waters. He has been a certified walking three-point bucket. Yeah, I mean, Tremont Waters can really get going leading the World Cup in a, or I'm sorry, second in the World Cup in assists, but also second in turnovers. So he has to make sure he's doing it efficiently. Had a very nice game in their last time out here of not forcing the issue offensively. Head coach Nelson Colon of the Puerto Rican national team going up against his counterpart. Now, this Dominican Republic team is a very interesting mix of some experienced players playing internationally in Europe, but also blend of NBA talent. We know about their superstar, Carl Anthony Towns. But let's talk about this man, Angel Delgado. Delgado really much, oh man, he's like a, another version of Nesta Colmenares of Venezuela, a true workhorse. Yeah, he's a load there down low, able uh, to put Cat out on the perimeter with him as that anchor at the five. And you know, we see Eloy Vargas there as well. They've gone with those double big units quite a bit. Well, Dominicans, that man there, Andreas Feliz, currently playing in the Spanish ACB for Hoven 2 Badalona. Again, he has been a key component. Eloy Vargas last played in Venezuela, but has a bit of G League experience to his name as well. And there is Angel Delgado coming out to line up. The big man very much playing relief minutes for Cat. Now, we all know that this team is driven by the driving force of Cat, but they have so many great players that surround him. A good supporting cost, of, cost of around Carl Anthony Towns. Well, you see right there, Lester Quinos, you know, they're waiting for him to heat up. Has not had a good tournament so far, but he's a player that can really get going. Had some big scoring games in the G League this season playing for the Golden State Warriors affiliate. Carl Anthony Towns has dominated the headlines for this team, and no surprise, the three-time NBA All-Star, currently with the Minnesota Timberwolves. 
has been leading this cohesive group. The synergy of this Dominican Republic team. Not many people thought that they would be able to defeat the Italians. The Italians coming up with a crucial victory against Serbia. So now Serbia and Italy have the same record going into that final game that will see two of these four teams go to the quarterfinals. Yeah, I mean, right now, so much uncertainty in the group here, especially if Puerto Rico can come out with a win. Uh, everything up for grabs will come down to the last day of games here. Well, the superstars coming out to the floor. Puerto Rico, a win tonight, and we could have four teams on three wins and one loss. But now, ladies and gentlemen, if you are able to do so, please stand and pay homage and respect to the national anthems of Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. National anthems of two beautiful countries with wonderful basketball programs have been sung. Players and coaches will shake hands, pay each other homage and respect. Now we get set to introduce our three referees for tonight's game. Well, the referees are coming from Lebanon, Brazil, and Ecuador. We have Carlos Peralta from Ecuador, Rama Nujaim from Lebanon, and Guilherme Locatelli coming from Brazil. Well, we are very proud to say that we have some of the finest officials here in World Basketball. They've done an excellent job at all of our competitions, and they'll continue to do so here tonight for this second round matchup between the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico. Coach, this is a battle, a derby of the FIBA Americas. Yeah, it really is. These, these two teams, uh, as big as rivals as you can find, and it's going to be an up and down game. Both these teams want to get out and run. Well, you got Pinheiro in the starting lineup along with Thompson Jr. Ismael Romero going with a big lineup. George Condon, but the key player is going to be Tremont Waters. He is lights out. As the name implies, he won't make it rain. Yeah, you can see the big game there against China. And importantly, he did it efficiently. So at times, has forced things offensively, a little bit turnover prone. But in that game, did a nice job of running the offense and finding his spots. Well, Waters currently, as he's doing that game, 22 points. But let's talk about this man, Ismael Romero. A double-double versus China. 
I mean, he has responded so well like a true professional from that opening game against South Sudan where he missed two free throws in regulation. I would have seen them win without having to go into overtime. Well, he's been so solid for them, leading the World Cup in field goal percentage at 72%. And he's part of that two-headed monster of rebounding with Condit. Nelson Collon, of course, knowing that it was a tough group they're in with Serbia and South Sudan, but that victory in overtime was the saving grace that got them here to the second round. Now remember, against Serbia, they trailed by 30 points, but were able in the second half to show a spirited comeback and cut it down to 10 points. But let's now focus on the Dominican Republic. One player comes to mind, but there are many other great ones too, but let's go to Carl Anthony Towns. He is really loving life here at the international level of the FIBA Vasa World Cup. Nah, he's been so important for this team. You heard Che Garcia in their press conference the other day saying he felt he was the best player at this tournament so far. And he really changes what they are offensively, able to step out, knock down the threes, and of course go inside as well. Well, he may have a good point there. He possibly could be the very best. Cap will be in the starting lineup with Eloy Vargas down low. Victor Lees, Andreas Valiz, and LJ Figueroa will all make the backcourt. But a lot of scoring options. But the key play you took does, Quinones, the top scorer in the NBA G League. Well, Quinones can definitely score with the best of them. Has struggled so far here in the World Cup. I know they're anxious to try to get him going. Catch is averaging short of a double-double with 7.7 rebounds under 20 points. As we mentioned, a three-time NBA All-Star as he's played his career. Probably the most famous Minnesota Timberwolves since Kevin Garnett. Yeah, he's been really strong for them so far in this World Cup. They've got to make sure that they can keep him out of foul trouble, though. Well, there's another key play, as we mentioned, playing in the Spanish ACB with Hoa 2 Badalona. 17 points, 5.7 rebounds. I mean, he's five assists and five rebounds away from averaging a triple-double. Now, he's been tremendous, the captain of this team, shooting 56% from three, and just as impressive, a five-to-one assist turnover ratio. Really done a nice job of steadying their offense. Their head coach, the man, the myth, the legend, Che Garcia, winning the FIBA America Cup in 2015 with Venezuela. But then after being relieved of his duties, after coaching his home nation, Argentina, he broke their hearts in the final game of qualification. Remember, Dominican Republic had to come down by a big margin of nearly 20 points that sent Argentina home for the summer and booked his summer vacation here. And you know what? The story gets better and better. They have yet to lose the game at the FIBA Basketball World Cup. Yeah, you see Coach Garcia there greeting all of his players. The charismatic coach has found a way to embrace this underdog role. We've seen it so far here in group play. Can they continue that tonight? I mean, this is a basketball country, the Dominican Republic, but they've only featured four times at FIBA Basketball World Cups. The highest they've ever finished in a FIBA. Well, let's listen now to what they have to say. like this. Seal. Go here, Bappi. Okay? Bird play. Water. Ismael. B. Steph and George. You go, like Flesh Cut. He can run and stay here, Ismael. There you go. George. Well, now we are a minute away. It's our official sponsor. The Tissot Countdown to tip-off is underway. A big shout-out and thank you to our official sponsor for the game and a great partnership and collaboration that Tissot has done with FIBA for many years here with international basketball. But, Coach, going back to what I was saying, look, it's a basketball country. We get that, but they've only featured in four FIBA Basketball World Cups. And the highest they've ever finished in a FIBA America Cup was bronze medal. Whereas you take Puerto Rico, three-time gold medalist in the FIBA America Cup, and their highest finish was in 1990 in Argentina when they finished fourth place in that FIBA Basketball World Cup. Yeah, obviously a lot of tradition there in Puerto Rico. Uh, but this Dominican Republic has embraced that role of the underdog, Coach Garcia, uh, I think enjoys it actually, but coming into this game, it's gonna be interesting to see. Obviously the, the Dominican Republic undefeated in group play. Puerto Rico though, feeling like they've got a great opportunity here to tie them in the group. Well, you are about to witness a very fierce and local rivalry between Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. Well, Colin Anthony Towns is gonna jump this one against George Condit. Condit's got a big job tonight. Doesn't get any bigger than Cat. Yeah, definitely uh, a tough matchup there. 
able to take him inside and outside. But Condit's been really impressive so far. His effort on the rebounds, loose balls, his defensive effort, uh, it's really been a catalyst to this Puerto Rican team. Well, Condit obviously, as we mentioned, embracing every moment, every opportunity here to be international. He's always said, when he made his debut over nearly over 10 years ago with the Puerto Rican national team, the pride that he has playing for the country of his mother's roots. Many of these players playing, having played high level NCAA basketball as well as NBA Basketball Champions League, FIBA Euro Cup, Euro League as well. But now, ladies and gentlemen, buenas tardes, bienvenidos a todos aficionados. Let's get this party started. Vamos! It will be Puerto Rico who had the first possession of the game now. Jamal Ward, this is going to be an interesting defensive matchup. Ghana by Andres Feliz. Puerto Rico trying to set the tempo early. Feliz trying to play very tight here with Jamal Waters. Ward is hesitating, going up, and a foul is going to be called, and that's going to be probably the one area Feliz is going to struggle with. The you know, the, the agility and the change of pace from a player such as Tremont Waters. Well, Waters is a tough cover for anybody. Uh, nice job initially in that possession and Felice that denied the ball, but you see towards the end of the possession, Waters able to spring free and draw the foul there. He just got it. First of all, it looked like he got a ball on that one, but then he got a smack to the face. Waters currently in the free throw line. Go back to the debut game these guys had against South Sudan. He was the one player in the first half when they were trailing by near 15 points. You know, mentally kept him in the game with five three-pointers in that first half of play. Well, he can get hot, that's for sure. You know, you got to make sure that he has that balance between getting his teammates involved and finding his own scoring. Makes both free throws. Dominican Republic going with a very big lineup, as are Puerto Rico. It's going to be interesting to see how the pace and the speed of Ismael Romero does match up here with Eloy Vargas. Trying to get a post isolation here with Cat. Got him by Condit. This is what the Dominican fans want. A Cat going in, can't finish it. Vargas trying to go for the offensive board. Condit now, transition goes up all the way. And he finishes that one. An easy transition there from Puerto Rico. Yeah, great job there from Condit running the floor. Puerto Rico able to find him in transition. Well, oh, Cat go over Hellberry three, and again, this guy doesn't lack any confidence. Yeah, and you see Condon raise his hand saying, my bad there. He's got to know that Cat's going to look to pull that from deep. Has to be up pressuring. Well, is making another penetration. Can't get this one. Cat comes up with it. Both teams do like to play on the open floor. As Feliz goes in, the rejection. Well, Romero said, no in me, Casa. Oh, what a defensive play there by Ismael Romero. And says, to no Enes, Bienvenido, you are not welcome here, Andreas Feliz. Yeah, great job there, sprinting back in transition, making the beautiful block there from behind. Well, that's what you're going to get from Ismael Romero. A veteran player who's played many years in the central and southern parts of the Americas. What is finding Romero? Romero goes in. Maybe took too many steps, but didn't finish the layup. Coach, one thing you have to appreciate about these two teams, of course, is the half court set. Well, got Cat trying to commit a crime there. Almost got away with it. Thompson, can he finish in transition? Now, Puerto Rico showing their effectiveness in transition. Okay. Yeah, two times there now, Puerto Rico able to get out and transition, find that runner up ahead of the defense. Dominican Republic has to do a better job of getting back. Well, Victor Lees doesn't get the ball to Figueroa. Continuity. The Cats made one three. Goes for another one. This one's a bit too short. Potential two possession lead coming up here for Puerto Rico. Waters pulls up for three. He's going to find it very interesting trying to go up against the stealthier, quicker defense here from these Puerto Rican defend from the Dominican defenders. Excuse me. Well, Feliz going under on that screen. That's a mistake. You need to make Waters get downhill. Have to finish oversized in the paint. Spot play there coming from Feliz, finding Victor Lees on the backdoor cut. They didn't really have much room and space, but just found enough separation to draw the contact. Well, there's the Hail Mary three from Cat. People need to realize that's what he does in the NBA. Well, he's such a tough cover. 
you got to respect him as a three-point shooter. And then when you press up for a lot of bigs, difficult to stay in front of them off the dribble. We saw that in their first game where he was able to draw a lot of fouls against the Philippines from that. He's currently the free throw line here for the Dominican Republic. Great to see fans all over the building here coming from Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. And a real Central American slash FIBA Americas derby. These two teams, no doubt, they battled it out for the, being the top team at the FIBA America. Two more lead to Puerto Rico. What is trying to orchestrate something? Condit at the top. Guerrero trying to use the ball screen. Tries to bully his way in and around the defense, and that's going to be a goaltending. And you see the strength there from Pinheiro. Dominican Republic going with Figueroa, trying to contain him a little bit more size there, but even then, Pinheiro just able to bulldog his way to the rim. Well, what is coming up with the interception. Now look out below, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to finish this one with a layup. And now Puerto Rico. As they say in Spanish, showing a little bit more corazón at the moment, a little bit more hot here than the Dominican players. And he's just struggling here with the quickness and agility of Tremont Waters on defense. Tom winding down here in the shot clock. Feliz back to Vargas, big man, tries to bully his way and doesn't get it. And now Puerto Rico looking to extend their lead, only by six points. That's going to be a turnover. Yeah, Pinheiro at times, as great as he's been coach, he does, you know, sometimes have these mental blunders. And, you know, they're not all the time, obviously, but he does make very unnecessary turnovers. Well, Pinheiro's rock solid, brings toughness and defense. He's been playing well offensively so far for them in this World Cup. Trying another back to a play with Victor Lees. This time, very well defended by Thompson. Pinheiro here in transition. Goes up, good defense by Cat. Great recovery by the Dominican Republic. He's down the middle, goes up, just can't finish it. Vargas getting the offensive ball, but there you can see Romero just so strong. It's going to be a very physical battle between the bigs of these two teams. Well, offensive rebounds has been Puerto Rico's specialty so far in this tournament. Averaging only, almost 17 offensive rebounds per game. That's second at the World Cup. Just behind that goaler, I believe it's there. Yeah. Defensive duties there by Carl Anthony Towns. Using his body very well there, avoiding the foul being called. Pulling up in the mid range. Condit's oh, got to take this one. That's been known from time to time. To, it's interesting. He actually can shoot the ball from, from very far distance. He doesn't take many perimeter shots, so that ball will be a two pointer, but you know, he has shown consistency. Well, he hit that huge corner three against South Sudan in their comeback win, but typically not known as a perimeter shooter. Carl Anthony Towns spacing off of him. Condit having to shoot that because of the late clock and knocking it down. Well, a timeout now to Chad Garcia wants to talk it over with his teammates and his players. Let's go and listen to what he has to say. It's a big, big time now for the Dominican Republic. There are the advanced stats. You can see Andreas Feliz ranked number four in passes compared to Jamal Waters, number 13. These are tournament averages right now. Advanced stats provided to you by FIBA. 
Again, it goes to show the high caliber of players that we have in this matchup. Well, you heard Coach Garcia there telling his guys to calm down, seeing his personality uh, on display there, trying to get these guys to settle into this offense. Eight point deficit. Montero coming into the game for the Dominican Republic. Top of the zone. Again, not getting the call he wants. A technical foul is going to be called against Carl Anthony Towns. And that's his second one of the tournament. Well, I think uh, Carl Anthony Towns still learning a little bit about international officials. Puerto Rico going with the zone there. He felt that there was some contact on that shot. You heard a lot of yelling in that reaction. That's something that international uh, referees do not appreciate. I mean, from that replay, it's almost like he's just shouted out the word, hey, basically. Well, you know, I think he's got a little bit of a target on him. You know, having the issues in their tune-up games was ejected uh, in their tune-up game against Spain. We saw the technical uh, in their earlier games here in group play. So sometimes these officials, you know, they, they do their scouting as well. Maybe uh, looking at Cat a little closer than some other players. Well, Delgado and Pena coming in. So Delgado's going to have to match up with George Condit. Garcia not taking any chances. Doesn't want to be the same situation like against Italy where Cat had to go to the bench early. Well, and also probably just trying to get him to calm down a little bit. You know, Cat, a very emotional player. Doesn't want to see him pick up a second foul quickly here. Nine point lead to Puerto Rico. Okay, many of them. Playing with them as the underdogs coming into this game. Well, this finding Romero turns it over. They've got to go for a long one, finding Figueroa. And he's going to go coast to coast with a two-handed rim rocker. Nice transition there from the Dominicans. And what a pass from Pena. Defender all over him, still able to find the long outlet there. Going to the top of the key now, finding Romero. Thompson Jr., he tries a three-pointer, doesn't get it. Pinheiro fighting for the offensive boards. Dominicans come up with it. I remember, Puerto Rico wins here. Everyone in this group will have three victories and one loss, but at the moment, Dominican Republic showing a bit of signs of promise. Well, Delgado wants the ball. Montero finally gets it to it. A nice little dish down again. The defense from George Condit just falling asleep. Well, nice pass there from Montero. Good seal down low. Condit trying to go for the steal there rather than stay behind. Romero again, that's going to be a travel violation. Yeah, Romero just moved himself very quickly but forgot to take the basketball at the same time. So another turnover for Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic. This is the second string players that they have on the floor right now. Delgado, Pena, Montero. Only Lees and Figueroa remaining from the starting five. And you talked about this as well, Coach. The ability to have a second string of players that can do the job on the floor. This comes down to the qualification windows. Every window, this group of players have been able to play together. Montero for the mid-range. Yes, yeah, steps up big time. Now it's a three-point ball game. And Montero can really get going as a scorer. The third leading scorer in the ACB, just 20 years old. One of Che Garcia's favorite young players, he said, in this Dominican Republic program. We could either response here. Thompson finds Romero. Pump fakes. Yeah, just can't get it. He's full first right into his hands. Yeah, Romero really struggling here inside the paint. Montero well, trying to run that ball screen. Kicks out. Finds Pena. Can tie the game up. Just a little bit too short. Could just need to settle down, but they're gonna leave. Jamal Ward is wide open. That's something the Dominican Republic just cannot afford to do. This map will light it up for the perimeter. Well, interestingly, they've uh, decided to be going under on these ball screens. Waters known for his perimeter shooting. He's looking for a kick out, turns it over. Puerto Rico will get the ball back, try to find Manny in the corner. That's gonna be a costly turnover, but now Quinones player who we know definitely can score and get you buckets. He's checked into the game. John Holland also checking in for Puerto Rico. As well as Ortiz, number 32. So both teams deep going into the benches. Already 2.35 to go in the first quarter. Oh, 
Bull is running around bull screens. Goes for another three point. This one looks like it's going to be on target, but just rolls out. A lot of pump fakes. Trying to deal with the size of Condit. It's going to get called for the foul. But he kind of hesitated once he got Condit up in the air. Didn't really take advantage of going by him. Well, uh, Condit's got to be better there. Delgado, more of a low post banger than a mid range jump shooter. Got him off the ground with that pump fake. Oh, Two free throws coming up. Angel Delgado. Now a lean forward. Checks into the game here for Puerto Rico. Depth in both these teams goes very far, Coach. And a lot of shooting on the floor right now for Puerto Rico. Probably their best perimeter shooting lineup. I think a lead forward forgot that it was actually two free throws, not one in that case. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Well, this is both. Still a little six point cushion here for the Puerto Ricans. Trying to get a ball reversal. Ortiz finding Holland. Oh, penetration. Bumps in the lane, goes up. The lane pulls the sweet. Two free throws coming up for John Holland. Trying to place the Apoel Tel Aviv in the Israeli Winter League. He's very much a silent assassin for his team. He always has moments in every game where he just steps up and delivers at crucial moments for Puerto Rico. Yeah, no question. He had a huge stretch against the against China in their last game. That veteran presence, able to score the ball with the best of them. Well, Holland, as you mentioned, currently playing in the Israeli Winter League. Also was teammates with James Veldin, another Puerto Rican player. In 2019-20, when they both played for Apoel Bank, you have Yahushalayim, or Jerusalem, as they would say. So definitely a big fan favorite in Israel as he missed the second free throw. Seven point lead to Puerto Rico. And he bands back in Central America, Dominican Republic, and in Puerto Rico. Tuning in to watch this game. Solano kicks out. Pena had the three pointer. Down at Delgado. Trying to make the post move. Almost got it in there, but again, just rattles its way in and out. Condit's give a go, but heavily anticipated by Montero. So that will be baseline ball to Puerto Rico. Right idea there for Condit. Yeah, it really was. Nice cut there. Just couldn't quite deliver the pass. Condit being heavily defended by Quinones. Condit has a size advantage against Delgado. This is a tough fadeaway. Foul is going to be called against a lead forward, just bodying. Montero to the ground on the rebound. Yeah, nice job there, Montero blocking out the larger forward as he crashed from the top. But if you're Condit, you have to know your role on this team, really more of an energizer, rebounder type. That mid-range fadeaway, not his game. Puerto Rico uh, wants to get a better possession than that. Solano here in the backcourt. Was keeping him in that game against Italy. Roscoe finds Pena. He's taking one three. Didn't make it. Still can't get this one. And that goes out of bounds with 52.7 seconds left. Dominican Republic will get a fresh 14 on the shot clock. Yeah, Solano has been really solid for them coming off the bench. We've seen it in multiple games from him now. Trying to get the ball about. Quinones. The 10 here on the shot clock. Solano kicks out to Quinones again. Got to get something going. Tear drop in the lane. Just not drop, but Delgado, another offensive rebound. Oh, Dominican Republic getting shots off the shots, but unable to take advantage. Yeah, these are great opportunities for them, just not able to score the ball right now. Howard in the backcourt, just checking into the game. Another three point shooter for Puerto Rico. He'll pull up, he'll fire. Straight off the bench is now Quinone as well. Look out below, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to lay this one up. The depths are down to five points with seven seconds left here for Puerto Rico. Going long, final forward. 
three corner. Just not dropping. Well, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the first quarter, it is Dominican Republic who trail this one by five points to Puerto Rico. And Dominican Republic showed a little bit of fight in them in the last few moments. Yeah, you know, I thought Solano coming in the game once again, doing a nice job of getting others involved. You saw that beautiful outlet pass there on that last transition opportunity. Well, the stats here from the first quarter, both teams only one three-point field goal, but let's listen to now what the coaches have to say before we look at the highlights. Everybody got around the side, so change the angle. Change yeah. the angle on yeah. the screen. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Throw to the big guy, hand over his screen. Yeah, that's, that's what it has to be. Yeah. That's what it has to be. Well, the key plays for Puerto Rico getting out in transition, making the most of the missed opportunities from the Dominican Republic. But one thing the Dominican Republic has done very well, there you can see the three-pointer coming from Cat, fighting for offensive boards and trying to go for those second chance points. Well, both teams struggling to shoot the ball, trying to come up with extra possessions any way that they can. Well, Tremont Wood is finding Thompson in the fast break. Puerto Rico trying to do everything they can. But, you know, Dominican Republic has shown the same as Figueroa goes coast to coast. We just have to love exactly what Montero, the dive there, finding and held Delgado. I mean, Delgado's obviously undersized in terms of height, but strengths, strength and basketball IQ is what he makes up for. Well, he's a load down there on the low block. Really good low post score and sealer using that physicality to seal off Condit there on the entry pass. Puerto Rican fans loving the three-pointer coming from Tremont Waters. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there is your QR code for Courtside 1891. Download the official platform that gives you all the best media for the 2023 FIBA Basel World Cup. Use that QR code to get Courtside 1891 for the best streams, schedules, and scores. Download it today using that QR code. Che Garcia is remaining. Carl Anthony Towns on the bench. You know, you like this coaching approach here, understanding he has a good cast supporting players and not trying to overrun Cat for 40 minutes a game. Well, you saw him tell him there, hey, we're going to look to score two baskets before I put you back in. You can tell they have a really good relationship. See them joking around in their, their shoot arounds in the morning as well as at the press conference. Che Garcia always staying loose with his players, trying to keep confidence in all of them. The foul is going to be called. Montero just beating. Oh, I don't think this should count. What do you think, coach? Should be on the ground. Yeah, I think definitely on the ground. Well, referee's ball is whistle again. I don't know if he's given a warning or a technical. So I don't think a technical's been called. So great job by Carlos Peralta. Yeah, I think the official trying to get the bench of the Dominican Republic to stay seated. Didn't like the reaction there. Well, that's a great job there by our referee from Ecuador, Carlos Peralta, because he easily could have seated up the bench. But just giving them a final reminder. Hey, I'll do my job. You guys do yours. Now it's under 10 seconds. Solano pulls up in the mid-range, takes this one, rolls its way in and out. Puerto Rico still leading just by five points. Ortiz now trying to go handoff. Let's go in and around the basket again. Yeah, gets the out one and Ortiz is going to the free throw line. Foul is going to be called against Montero. Well, that's just what we like to call bully basketball. Yeah, great take there from Ortiz, able to play through the contact. More of a pick and pop shooter generally, seeing his ability to put it on the deck as well there. Identifying the mismatch. Ortiz now a chance, doesn't make the three-point play. Gets his own rebound, no foul calls. That's going to be a turnover, a wasted four-point opportunity there for Puerto Rico. Is trying to find Pena, give a go play. Solano goes up, he doesn't get the app one, but he'll go to the free throw line. So, again, both teams just trying to patiently pick each other apart. 
A beautiful basketball there. You saw the scissor action, the ball going into the post at the free throw line and the great cut from Solano. That's a play he's gonna finish most of the time. You just see him kind of shrug it off. That's been the struggles of this DR team so far in this game, shooting just 25% from the floor. Solano currently the trier to strike. They have four Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic have missed now five, no, four free throws, and now one for five from the charity stripe. Puerto Rican fans in the building trying to put off the Dominican players. Solano makes a second one. The full court pressure we're seeing here from the Dominican Republic. Howard has an opportunity here. Comes up for a quick one transition. Doesn't get it, Montero comes up with a loose ball. Dominican Republic trying to push the tempo. Quinones wide open three, corner. Yeah, the trade ball's just not dropping here for the Dominicans. Yeah, and Quinones struggles continue from the perimeter. Montero trying to be aggressive against the lead forward. And well, finding Howard. Roll action back to Romero. Romero goes in again. It's beautiful execution by Puerto Rico. Yeah, really nice action there from Puerto Rico. A little weave action into the middle pick and roll. Delgado needs to stay deeper to make sure his man doesn't roll behind him there. Dominican Republic trailing again by eight points. Delgado's give and go fight Solano again. Too much on it, but it's a follow up. I think that was going in on its way. But another give and go action here by the Dominicans offense. Romero faking the handoff. Romero just going to work, and he is having a field day here against Delgado. Yeah, that's twice. Romero able to go right by Delgado. Montero pump faking. Delgado trying to take on Romero. And struggling with the athleticism. Romero getting ahead. Good foul's going to be committed against Montero. Double change, coach. Now the Twin Towers are coming back into the game. Nelson Colon also making a change, bringing back in George Condit, realizing he has to sort out the size disadvantage his team defensively would have had. Puerto Rico trying to go to a triple handoff. Finishing it with a pick and roll. Waters pulls up in the mid range. Back high and doesn't get it. Yeah, Puerto Rico has that small tandem in their backcourt right now of Howard and Waters. Solano back to Vargas. Big man turns around. Again, just can't get the touch on it right now. He has struggled offensively. You know, Vargas not really known as a, as a scoring threat there. We are just trying to find some offense somewhere. Well, Jamal Waters just taking Montero back to La Escuela. And Che Garcia needs a cool timeout and to find out what education Montero's just had. I mean, this is smooth. Tremont Ice Waters. Well, he's fantastic. Yeah, he's a, a crafty player there with that size. But I think Coach Garcia frustrated with the effort of his team's defense over these last two minutes here. Well, Kyle Anthony Towns making the three-pointer early on, but coach, I'll tell you what, you gotta love Che Garcia. Calm down, baby. I like that. Well, he's been uh, trying to get his group to calm down for a while. Just 25% shooting so far in this game. Haven't been able to really find any kind of rhythm offensively. I don't know if you saw that. Something just happened there with Eloy Vargas. 
something awful which just happened there right at the end of that timeout. Vargas left the bench very angry. That's a very interesting scenario. Not quite sure what happened. But something kicked off. See uh, Puerto Rico here in a matchup zone. They go for another three. They one. Makes another one. And that's what they need from Cat. Perimeter shooting. The trade ball for Cal Matthew Towns. Well, Cat's only offensive input has been for the perimeter. Just giving Dominican Republic a glimmer of hope so far. Going to take it on Vargas. That one's going to be cooled on the ground. I guess he's getting caught for the reach and right there. Tony was going to put his hand in the cookie jar at the right time, but it's going to be another foul for the Dominican Republic. One more, they sent Puerto Rico to the free throw line. Ortiz goes for a quick three point, and that's right in the face of Carl Anthony Towns. And all of a sudden, Ortiz is feeling the confidence here. Well, that's what Ortiz is known for. Catch and shoot player on the perimeter. You saw him rise up with confidence there on the catch. Quinones trying to go to work. Yeah, make it a that's tough one. He was smothered on defense by Lee Ford. And Puerto Rico went back to that matchup zone defense there. Quinones coming off a ball screen. Tries to fight Condo on the alley oop. Quinones has numbers. He'll go himself on this one. Draws a foul. He'll go to the free throw line. Had a two on one, but decided to go himself. And the Dominican Republic trying to find easy baskets any way they can. So Harry Koch against this man and see him so many times. What is this about his game as a scorer that you know really excites fans watching all over the world? Well, for him, you know, he needs his shot to get going, and, and that's what's been missing so far here in this World Cup. When he's knocking down perimeter shots, now he can add the dribble penetration. Just an all-around scorer when he's going from, from the outside. A little bit flat there on the second free throw. It's the fifth missed free throw attempt for the Dominican Republic here in the first half. That went on the way, got by Montero. What is double crossover? Shake it, bake it, finds George Cotton, and again, it's the magician. Tremont Ward is facilitating and finding the big man, George Cotton. Yeah, beautiful pass there from Waters. Great hesitation move. Waited for the big to commit to him. Really, Vargas just gave a cheap shot there to the chest. Well, there was a dime to the big man, George Cotton. Vargas at times has been known to lose his temper a little bit, but... He just gave a little slap on the chest to Aline Ford. Let's listen now to okay, our officials, Carlos Peralta and Guillermo okay. Locatelli. Open, open the camera, please. Open camera first. Yeah, is that? No more speed, please. Foul. Okay, you could see that. It was an attempt, okay? It was an attempt. I wanna see the last one. That one. No, no, yeah, the, this one. That one. Yeah. Back. Easy, step by step. I go again. Okay. Have a foul. Let me. Okay, foul. And then this elbow. Okay. We have no contact on the elbow. Okay. Okay. This one also. Yeah. This one also. Okay. 
So it was, he tried to hit the chest. So this is an sportsman like foul, okay? And sportsman like foul. Which number is that? Number 11, a sportsman like foul. We have, we have two shots for this player. Number 12, two shots on the ball this side. Confirm. Okay, two shots for the... For number 12. The, perfect, two shots. Confirm. 12, confirm, yeah, perfect. Well, there you have it, unsportsmanlike. The upgrade is about to be made by Carlos Peralta. Number 12, please. Number 12, please. So this will be interesting now, because they've still yeah. pulled the foul, I believe. So Lean Ford gets a foul call. Because it's an unsportsmanlike, the free throw's got it now, because it's happening time and ten times. Does that mean Puerto Rico's going to get the ball back? That's going to be the interesting point. Well, there'll be the, the two free throws uh, for Vargas are going to be live. So, uh, actually, at, at Puerto Rico, not in the bonus yet. So the ball the ball will go back to the Dominican Republic after these shots. Actually, that's my fault. Unsportsmanlike foul called there. I thought they had a technical foul. See, I just wonder because Elite Ford's foul happened first, then the unsportsman took presence over it. That's what I think the, the, the issue was. Well, the call is the unsportsmanlike. I thought they could have gone with a technical foul there. Instead, the unsportsmanlike, that gives the possession back to Puerto Rico. So big, big moment there. Well, he's another deep three-pointer. And just like in his last game, finding his confidence. The silent assassin, Captain Christopher Ortiz. Andreas Ruiz getting stripped now. Jamal Ward is good defense. 14 point lead to Puerto Rico. Ward is spinning, going to work and getting rejected. Carl Anthony Towns just sending a message there. This is my house. But Ward is what a spin, but Kat just said, no in me, Casa. Just reminding him, you are not welcome. No NS, bienvenido aquí. Ortiz going in, double clutching and hanging in the air, and he has eight points so far. Yeah, Ortiz having his way right now. See him knocking it down from the perimeter, and then the beautiful fake handoff. Two threes for Cat, can't get it. Feliz with another offensive board. Tries to make the contact, and he'll go to the free throw line. 16 point deficit. Dominican Republic yet to lose a game so far here in the FIBA Basel World Cup. Well, Coach, this is going to make things very interesting. There's plenty of basketball left to play in this game. If we have four teams in this second round trying to get that position in the quarterfinals, the final game of the second round with three wins and one loss. Well, you see the uh, frustration right now on all the Dominican players. They've got to settle down a little bit, try to chip away at this lead, but we've seen them down before. And let's remember they started out down 12-0 to Italy in that, in that win for them. Cutting it down to a 14-point deficit. What is back to Condit. Honestly, he called for a traveling violation. Costly turnover there for Puerto Rico. Yeah, Condit needs to go right up with that on the catch. Did everything right there, the pick and roll action with Tremont Waters. But as you mentioned, just probably finding a bit of intimidation due to Carl Anthony Towns' defense. Cat trying to attack. Foul's going to be cool against Condit. That's going to be two free throws coming up for Cat. Gotta be so frustrated when you're about seven foot, six foot eleven. You gotta defend someone the same size, maybe a bit bigger, but who can also put the ball before. Well, and I don't think that foul was on Condon. It looked like Waters had reached in. Thompson Jr. and Isaiah Pinheiro checking into the game for Puerto Rico. Catch just getting the first free throw to drop. Dominican Republic, six for 11 from the charity strike. Puerto Rico, only six for eight this evening. And again, free throws will be crucial in this game. You never want to look back and think the outcome could have been different had you made your free throws. Condit going to the bench, take a breather. Ismael Romero coming back into the game. 
So Puerto Rico going slightly smaller against this Dominican team that does have Carl Anthony Towns in the lineup. And you see uh, full court pressure right now from the Dominican Republic. See if they can force a turnover, try to find some easy offense. Right now struggling so much in their half court. What is throwing a dump down pass? Goes out of bounds, well, though a foul's gonna be called. So that's going to be two free throws coming up for Puerto Rico now. Both teams in the penalty with 3.53 to go here in the second quarter. Yeah, no, I think that was a kick ball Oh, no there. foul, no foul, yeah, sorry, yeah. Sideline ball. So Puerto Rico just well, turned it over. I was just about to ask you, coach. Puerto Rico struggling right now to find that sort of momentum they had on offense. Where can they start to rediscover that sort of form they had in the early stages? Well, you know, Waters obviously is uh, your, your first option there offensively, but you know the Dominican Republic is going to turn up their defensive pressure. Montero well, kicks out the police. He hits his first three. And that cuts it down to a nine-point ball game. Dominican Republic going on a 7 0 running. You said it, coach. They were down 12 0 to the Italians and still came back and won. The hearts of these Dominican Republic players, they're just too big to ever give up. Yeah, great kick out there from Montero. Finding Feliz there. Feliz continuing his hot shooting ways here at the World Cup, knocking that down. Well, Carl Anthony Towns hitting two three-pointers early on here in the first half. And he has picked up one technical, but that is why he is so important to this team. His defensive presence making it very tough for almost any team. Now, it's so interesting. Dominican Republic had that very close game against the Philippines in opening night here of Group A. They kept it very close, but you know, you said as well, you were very surprised to see the Dominican Republic not try to double down on Jordan Clarkson. Well, you know, they stayed in that drop, pick and roll defense throughout that game. Saw in the last two minutes here, really the most aggression we've seen from the DR so far. Translating to some offense as well. The ball moving better for them right now. Finding Romero, top of the key. Up here against Colin Townsend, Romero. He's playing with confidence, coach. Yeah, great take there from Romero. Going right at Cat with the right hand finish. These are the penetration. Finds Quinones for three point. That's a good one. Now it's an eight point ball game. That's what he needs to see. That three goes in for him, able to score. This is going to be a, I'm not sure if they put a foul here or. But a technical foul is going to be cool. Oh, it's on Chad Garcia. So did they call a foul on Kid Yonis before the technical? Yeah, I re I'm really not sure of what just happened there. You see Felice, the captain, trying to go over and get an explanation. He's been held away by Montero to stop arguing with the referee. Well, the technical is on Coach Garcia. Must have been a reaction. Well, Dominican Republic had the momentum. Trying to find their way back in this game, but Puerto Rico can continue to try and set the difference between these two teams. Pinero being heavily defended. Is just trying to make things very difficult, trying to wear him like a jacket. Yeah, the ball pressure really stepping up here for the Dominican Republic, showing some life now in this game. Sideline ball here to Puerto Rico. Romero getting a handoff. Trying 
going to extend the lead back to double digits. He's done by as many as 16. Three seconds now. What a step back. Hail Mary threat again. Would you expect any different here as he continues to make it rain? Well, Penny left wide open. He tries a three-pointer. That's a good response from the Dominican Republic. Yeah, and that's what Pena does. Excellent pick-and-pop shooter. You see the offense starting to flow a little bit right now for both teams. Well, Puerto Rico, the difference between these two teams, they just have the ultimate playmaker. The one player that can almost create any shot here on the floor. And that's this match, Jermont Waters. What a step back, mid-range. Okay, almost got that one to draw. Dominican Republic trailing by nine points. Quinone is looking to go up against Pinheiro. Goes in with a smooth little ice man. Fanger roll near the basket. Now it's a seven point ball game. And you can tell he's starting to feel good seeing that three pointer finally go in for him. And an offensive foul is going to be called against Tremont Waters. You like to see that respect and admiration between Waters and Andreas Feliz. Yeah, I think that's actually going to be on Pinheiro. Maybe it was Waters on the illegal screen. Right there, yeah, just with the body check, yep. Yeah, that's right. You know, I thought they had Pinheiro pushing off here, but definitely Waters there with the illegal screen. Well, Puerto Rico just need to hold their nerves right now. Che Garcia just being spoken to by our referee, Rama Nujaim. Best referees from Lebanon. Also was a regular referee at the West Asian Super League, the Vassal, one of the newest additions. Continental competitions created by FIBA. Montero goes baseline. That's just too easy. And again, Dominican Republic just dictating everything here on the basketball court. Well, this lineup for the DR has two shooting bigs on the perimeter with Pena and Cat. So you see there's no defensive help there at the rim. Thompson beaten and nobody there to help out. Another turnover, Dominican Republic. He cut this out of one possession. Montero's gonna go coast to coast. Now it's a three-point ball game. And Nelson Colon has just seen his 16-point lead completely disintegrate. And the Dominican fans all over the yard are Coliseum. They are loving this coach. Yeah, and you can see the Dominican Republic starting to pick up their ball pressure, able to force some turnovers, get out to the open floor. And I like this lineup with the shooting bigs opening up driving lanes for some of their guards like Montero. Well, let's go listen out to Nelson Colonna this time out. Well, again, you can see Kidyote is going in transition. You talked about him, you know, predominantly a shooter where he really needs to start cooking to become that ultimate score. But you know, one thing I love about his game is he really loves to get out in the open floor, regardless whether he has the ball in his hands or not. Well, for Quinones, it's actually his shot he needs to see go in. He's got that driving game naturally, but when he's a threat on the perimeter as well, that's when he really starts flowing. You can see he's very comfortable right now, playing with a lot of confidence. Well, less than Quinones, 10 points. So far, three for five with inside the rainbow. Yeah, you love to see here at a FIBA Basel World Cup when you have a three-time NBA All-Star on the floor. And you have the scoring actions coming from players in the ACB. And in the G League, for that matter. Yeah, well, you know, this Dominican Republic team has players representing some of the top leagues across the world. So this one down low to Chris Ortiz. Eight points so far here in the game. He's going baseline, just can't get it. The Dominicans come right back with it. Maybe a potential two for one here for the Dominican Republic. Montero well, down a million. God, this guy is just so explosive. So quick every time he has the ball in his hands. Cat going in around the basket. And Carl Anthony Towns just lays a smackdown on that one. 
Yeah, a lot of isolation basketball right now for the Dominican Republic, but so many tough matchups on that perimeter. Again, no help defense because everybody concerned about the shooting. And Pinheiro with the big time tuck. Well, that's a response Puerto Rico need. Great drop off pass there from Waters. Breaks his man down, creates the dunk for Pinheiro. Final shot here in the first half will go to the Dominican Republic. Got the tail Montero attack the basket. Feliz fumbles it. Step back, big three, takes it, got it! Well, buenas noches, La Republica del Dominicana. Andres Feliz making it right in the corner. Well, Feliz now having hit his second three pointer. Well, if you check the temperature, that was a throwdown by Isaiah Pinheiro. Can't go into the basket. Sir Carl Anthony Towns layeth the smack if down on that one. But there you can see this slowdown just put the entire Puerto Rico defense right to sleep on that one. But going back to Andres for these final shot, that was a big time three pointer coach. Yeah, really nice play there. Pena actually setting that flare screen, catching his defender off guard. Initially dropped that pass, but was able to knock it down there at the end of the half. Puerto Rico had a 16 point lead. But the Dominican Republic collectively as a unit found themselves back in this game. Well, the Dominicans 6 for 12 on the perimeter. Andreas Feliz hitting the last two trails for them. Well, Puerto Rico just shooting under 50% at 4 for 9. But there you can see both teams locked in on the rebounds. But the assists almost doubled that for the Dominican Republic and the Puerto Ricans. Well, they really came alive there at the midway point of that second quarter. Their ball pressure was the catalyst of that. Really picked up their intensity. Were able to force some turnovers, and from there their offense started to flow. Well, Cat and Quinones combined total of 20 points. And of course, Tremont Ward is leading scorer this game with 14. Let's look at the player tracker. And you can see Tremont Ward is four assists away from a double double, seven rebounds away from a potential triple double. But Kyle Anthony Towns, six rebounds away from his double double. But you know, at some point, Cat's going to get that target. Yeah, you know, uh, had a little rough start to this game. But when he came back in, he came back in with aggression. I like that Coach Garcia went right to him. Those mid-post isolations, such a tough cover for anybody out there. Well, here are the top plays in the second quarter. Chris Ortiz got eight points so far in this game. The silent assassin, El Capitan of Puerto Rico. He just like steps in when he's needed, but he does such an efficient job of it. Well, you know, really known as a perimeter shooter, pick and pop player, but nice job there on the fake handoff and finish. Final Romero. Romero making the cuts to the basket. He's had a good game so far, Smell Romero. We talked about his contribution, his impact for this Puerto Rican team. But Dan Gatto, but who can never deny the fact the talent of this man got to be arguably one of the top five PGs in the FIBA Basketball World Cup. Well, Waters can really score with the best of them. You see 14 points already in this first half. And there was another three-pointer by Ortiz. Tough play by Quinones, just trying to find his rhythm. Okay, you talked about he needs to get a shot going if he's going to be a dominant scorer for the Dominican Republic. But look at the shaking and baking here. He's tough. He is so tough. Yeah, you know, the, the handles and just the patience there to wait for the big defender to come to him before dropping it off perfectly. Projection coming from Cat. This would you like to see Romero, veteran of the former FIBA. Liga de las Americas and the BCL Americas take it on Carl Anthony Towns. But Pinheiro with a thunder. The Puerto Rican hammer dunk. But ultimately the final play. You say que tiempo hace in Spanish. And right now, hace mucho calor. It is very hot because this man is starting to light up. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back in just under 11 minutes for the second half. Whatever our gender, color, belief, or capability, we are all on the same team. We have the power to change lives through basketball. Together, Together we, we are, are stronger. stronger. No, no matter, matter your, your origin, origin, basketball can bring everyone together. Basketball for good. It over now. Samson had come up with it. Wani big three. Another block. That's the third block of the game by Renzo Bondo. Now, 
Georgievich liking what he gets from Jim Schoen. Again, he goes up, and now he is the top scorer in this game with 18 points. And what a pass there from Ja Wei between the legs, finding Jim Zhao on the nice roll. And they get it in. Spellman bringing it over. He's staying aggressive. Saud is open. His shot at the buzzer is good. Not sure if that's what Coach drew up, but it doesn't matter because it works anyway. I'll start to get a contact. Goes up and when you Gabriel just says, not at my house. Francisco tries to turn the corner, drops it to Yabuselli, and one. It's just too strong, too big. Powers his way, bullies his way to the hoop. Sammy, bullseye's out. Oh, look at that. Ahab Amin takes it away. You cannot be serious. That, that is not going to be, he just stole, he just snuck up there, took the ball away, went in for layup. And you got to be, you got to do better than this. Look at this. And they get it to Cruz. He kind of fumbles it, gets it back, puts up a three. Got it. Well, there you have it. The icing on the cake of Mexico's best first half. Rejected. Soto with the denial. Lamont kicks out. Kwani Kwani. Looking to go in again. Still can't get it. But another block shot. Back to back blocks by Kai Soto. Soho driving. He coughs it up. Baba with the ball. He's looking for help. He finishes it. He had Jima. He one. He had Jima. What a play. Japan has the lead. Nate Baba saw the defense coming. He's holding his shoulder. But look at the heads up play.
lost our identity after that. Well, you know, credit to the Dominican Republic. I think that pressure really affected Puerto Rico. Uh, you know, took them out of their rhythm that they had earlier in that game, but also the bench of the Dominican Republic, not only coming in and defending, but scoring 24 to 13 advantage from the bench. And a big part of that was Quinones' 10 points there. Well, Quinones' 10 points, a play that you said has to get his shot going for him to really get into that ultra terminator mode. And at the moment, Carl Anthony Towns, do what he does best, just becomes a driving force. He's six rebounds away from having a double-double. But that's Carl Anthony Towns doing what he does best. I mean, that's just Cat being Cat. Well, he's such a tough matchup for anybody. The Dominican Republic going with that shooting lineup down the stretch of that half. Kenya able to spread the defense out a little bit. So when Cat put it on the deck, there weren't bodies in the paint there to, to help stop him. And Jerome Ward is the leading scorer in this game so far with 14 points. You know, he's just been, as usual, he's just been a very excited player. And I would go as far as to say that he might be one of the top five point guards in this FIBA Basketball World Cup. Well, he's a dynamic player for sure. You know, the 14 points, though, coming with the four turnovers with that. So that's been one of his issues at the World Cup. Needs to be efficient in how he scores. Well, that's been the big talking point so far here for the Dominican Republic. Question is, and they further go on and take the victory in this game. They're locked in at 45 apiece, thanks to Andreas Feliz's final three-pointer at the end of regulation in the first half. Puerto Rico collectively, can they hold on? Well, these Puerto Rico players, well, ladies and gentlemen, there is a QR code for the official FIBA Basel World Cup app. Download on your smartphone, your tablet, or your Android to get the best stats, news, and highlights that matter to you most. The official FIBA Basketball World Cup app. Download it today using that QR code. Well, there is your energy tracker of the starting five for Puerto Rico. No surprise, of course, Tremont Ward is doing everything on the floor for this team. I mean, he facilitates, he defends, but also he just gets buckets. And by getting buckets, he is just blazing from the perimeter as always. Well, he's a tough cover. You know, obviously, the dynamic ball handling, great job of changing pace out of that pick and roll. And when he's rolling from the three-point line, very tough to defend. Sideline possession here to start the second half. Romero will inbound this one. And you see here the Dominican Republic going with that same lineup they had down the stretch of the second quarter. Pena putting more shooting on the floor here, and Lester Quinones also getting the start. You like to see the casual conversation here between Delgado, or excuse me, Pena and Romero. A lot of these players grew up together. Rivalry with each other on the floor. Now it's with national team duty. Gonna get things on the way. Caught it in the starting lineup here. The only change has been Pena coming in for Eloy Vargas. Remember, he picked up an unsportsmanlike foul. Well, caught it as he did in the corner against South Sudan. Doesn't get this one. Now the Dominicans a chance to take the lead. Can't take it an extra step. A couple times he's been called for travels on that play. Trying to bully his way to the basket. Cat just doing what Cat does best. Dominating inside the paint. You can see there, they're gonna give Cat the ball in isolation. They've got shooting all around him. Puerto Rico reluctant to come help. It is almost turning it over. Ten here on the shot clock for Puerto Rico. Well, has to force up a Hail Mary three. Ken, even when he misses, they're going in. But two point lead to the Dominican Republic. Again, trying to take on Condit. Tough move, doesn't get it. Condit comes up with a rebound. Canada Puerto Ricans 
Find something here in transition. Out in the corner, quick three. That's going to be a push in the backcourt against Isabel Romero. Yeah, well, both teams making changes in their starting lineup for this half. Puerto Rico going with the two small guards there, Waters and Howard, paired together in the backcourt. Well, that's a great job by Montero getting the box out against Ismael Romero. Romero, as we saw, they just slightly the contact, but it was enough to justify the push in the back. So another turnover for the Puerto Ricans. to attack it, Condit staying on the ground with a euro step by Carl Anthony Towns. But he's filled it now, coach. Well, and this is what they went to at the end of the second quarter, getting Cap the ball at the top of the key or in that mid post, and really letting him go to work with shooting around to spread that defense out. Euro tried to go for a weak side rebound. Carl Anthony Towns prevents him from getting any second chances. Dominican Republic, they have the momentum. As there you can see Andres Feliz going inside the lane. And now Nelson Colon has to call timeout because the Dominican dominance, it is prevailing on both ends of the floor. That's tough, coach. That's I mean, that's 6'2", taking on 6'11". Yeah, really tough finish going right into the body of Condit there. You see the Dominican Republic picking up where they left off at the end of that second quarter. Well, Nelson Cole on trying to get the final words with his team. Use that QR code to get the official FIBA Basel World Cup app on your smartphone, tablet, or Android. Use that QR code to get all the best news, stats, and highlights that matter to you most. We love to see fans all over the arena, Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic in this case, showing their flag and their patriotism to their national teams here at the 2023 FIBA Basketball World Cup. Puerto Rico will inbound this one. Momentum has completely shifted. Six point lead to the Dominican Republic. The team that trail by 16. And the Puerto Ricans just need to find a bit of a session here in their offense. Trying to get it for this match. Jamal Waters catch and shoot. Three is up and again. Jamal Waters do it. The signature three point shooting for the Puerto Ricans. Yeah, nice little set there, just a cross screen and a pick the picker action. Waters coming off that and firing. And that's not going to be a turnover. That will remain possession to the Dominican Republic. The foul has been called. Pena this one against Ismael Romero. That's a big play there from the Dominican Republic. Fourteen seconds are on the shot clock for the Dominicans. So far, 14 points. He got it by Romero. Can he hit three threes? And again, Kyle Anthony Towns. He is just cooking. The Puerto Rican defense. Yeah, you can tell he's feeling good, putting the ball between his legs there. It's such a difficult cover. Able to knock down the three as well as beat you off the drive. And on the edge, Jamal Ward is nutmegging his own teammate. That's another Puerto Rican turnover. Now, both Serbia and Italy will definitely want Puerto Rico to win this game because you have three teams. That would be three and one. Dominican Republic win this game. They wouldn't necessarily automatically qualify for the quarterfinals. But it definitely would put them in bold driving force. Goes in for a tough one. Romero just able to survive on defense. Can Puerto Rico find something here, coach? 
Miller pulls off in the mid-range. Ten oh, foot, knocks that one down right in the face of Carl Anthony Towns. Well, that's what they need. Somebody besides Waters able to step up here and give them some offense. Howard's been very quiet for them so far in this game. They need to find a way to get him going. Kidiota's left wide open. He'll fire three-point again. You can feel the pressure coming from the Dominican's perimeter shooting. Yeah. Coach, they're on fire. Well, the confidence there in Quinones. Waters going underneath the screen. No hesitation pulling up from three there. That's going to be a... This is going to be interesting. They're going to call a blocking foul, I believe. Yeah. I'm not sure if he... I think he was outside the restricted zone, but... Yeah. Well, Coach, break it down. What do you think? Well, you know, I don't think he's got all his body there in the driving lane established position but didn't really take it in the chest there. I think that's the right call. Great jump by George called it to avoid the charge but he misses the free throw. Well, if he makes this one he can cut it out of a six point deficit. 6.23 to go here in the third quarter. Puerto Rico's highest finish at a FIBA Barca World Cup it was in 1990 in Argentina when they finished fourth place. On it misses both. Kids now with the momentum, it's going to be a foul here against Puerto Rico, and that's going to be the 13 foul. Romero picks up his third personal foul. Just trying to be a little bit aggressive there on the bull screen while defending Montero. Or cross court. Good interception by Jamal Waters. But can they capitalize? Waters has 17 points. Pulls up for another three pointer. This guy has become a Puerto Rican Stephen Curry right now. Well, if somebody's going to lead them back, it's going to be Waters. Great anticipation on the steal. Came off the ball screen with an open look and knocked it down. Well, Cats made three threes. To also get that one. As the name implies, Waters has been making it rain. Again, Pinheiro turns it over. Constant play there for Puerto Rico. Dominicans just lead it by a slender four points. A good interception now. Can they get something here in transition? Pinheiro getting stripped. And blocking fouls will be pulled again against Quinones. Back to back blocking fouls. Yeah, close call there. Yona is once again trying to step in, draw the charge. It's very, very tight, isn't it? Well, I think it's the same thing as the play before. He's got to be able to take that contact in the chest. Just hasn't completely squared up the driver there. So it's interesting the point you made there. You're saying. In that situation, because, you know, it's very tough to see there at normal speed if he's on time, if he's sad, but, you know, he's clearly outside the restricted area. Is it more the initiation from the chest that would upgrade into a charge, you reckon? Yeah, he has to take that contact right in the center of his body. So I think in both cases, the offensive player able to avoid and just make contact at that hip, that's going to be called on the defender there. Arrow makes both free throws, cutting it down to a one possession game. Dominicans have to turn this game around, but Puerto Rico can't even run away with it. And you see 2 2 1 back to a 2 3 zone here from Puerto Rico, trying to break up this offensive rhythm of the DR. Well, Howard just getting body to the floor. Chiyota's big three in the corner, doesn't get it. Cat goes up to finish by Carl Anthony Towns. Nice put back there, and you know, right when Puerto Rico thought that they had that stop, Cat able to come up with the big offensive rebound and put back. Howard has struggled from the perimeter so far here for the Puerto Ricans. That's going to be a traveling violation. Great call by Guilherme Lopez. No, excuse me. Phenomenal call by referee Carlos Penalta from Ecuador. It's 
So Victor Lee is checking into the game here for Montero. Check out the of options. John Holland also coming in probably to try and give Puerto Rico just a bit more size as Howard will check out. Yeah, and Howard just unable to get anything going so far in this game. They need him to be that second scoring option along with Waters there in the backcourt. Four points of separation between the Dominican Republic. Feliz comes around the screen. This guy will continue to make it rain. That's the ninth three-point field goal of the game here for the Dominican Republic. Yeah, just a little weave action there at the top, ending in a middle pick and roll, and Waters going underneath the screen at the top there. Feliz knocking it down. Back to a seven-point lead. What a step back, tough three in the corner. That was a hand his face. The Quiones not pushing anything here for the Dominican Republic. Look at the take on Condit. Cat going all the way. Takes it to the ab wall, but he'll go to the charity stripe. And this is a bit of a headache now for Nelson Colum because now Cat is building the confidence to attack the basket. When he's not scoring in this case, he is going to the free throw line. Well, he's a tough matchup out there on the perimeter as you see Feliz here knocking down that three. But if you're Puerto Rico in this one-on-one -on -one defense, you gotta make him beat you with his left hand. He's been able to drive by guys going right. Well, Dominicans eight for 13 from the free throw line this evening. Captain Christopher Ortiz picks up his third personal foul. Cat with a chance to make this a nine point ball game. Makes them both. Montero mm -hmm. coming right back in the game. Only just moments ago checked out. And look at the standing ovation Quinones gets from the crowd and from his teammates. Yeah, you see the big hug there from Coach Garcia. I think everybody understanding his frustrations really had not shot the ball well coming into this game. Getting a handoff. Michael breaker on the left wide open. He's got to make this one. Doesn't get it. Waters comes up with a loose ball. Takes a quick three. Step back. Again, it looked good, but it just didn't drop. Feliz pump fakes. But Feliz is wide open, but they find Pena. He's wide open. He'll take it. He'll capitalize. Scrambling on defense there for the Puerto Ricans. Dominican Republic. Had a golden chance to go back up by double digits. Oh, Colon's got to get rid of it. One thing by Holland. He's up, and that's going to be a foul. So John Holland will go to the free throw line. Well, it was Condit who was put under pressure. He had to get rid of the ball and found John Holland on the back door. So two is coming up for the Apple Tel Aviv player. Yeah, Montero there. He's getting a little slap on the arm of Holland. But nothing really going the Puerto Rico's way right now offensively. Well, 2.50 to go here in the third quarter. This third quarter, 19 to 11. And it just gets a free throw to drop. It's been great so far. Trying to take on it. Call Anthony Towns. This guy, too big, too strong. And Cat is simply just too good. I don't think there's any force. Either in Manila, Indonesia, or in Okinawa, Japan, that can stop Carl Anthony Towns. This guy is always going right. And he's got Puerto Rico players around him. There's just no stopping Cat. The Dominican Republic, they let the Cat out the bag. Well, you can see this, this lineup putting Pena in, adding that additional perimeter shooting right now, Figueroa in the game, but sticking with those four shooters on the perimeter allowing Cat to isolate at the top. And again, if you're Puerto Rico, you cannot let him beat you going to his right. 
you're going to be up and pressure. Make him go left. 24 points to Colin Anthony Downs. 10 point deficit. What is finds George Condon who goes in. That's a big time play. And a good response from big man to big man. Mano y mano. Beautiful drop off there from Waters. The Cat of Puerto Ricans come up with a defensive possession here. Cat's got 24 points. Can't get the three. Remember the Puerto Ricans were cruising in the first half. Right now, clearly on the back hill. Got another turnover. That's going to be a traveling violation, surely. Finds Cat pump fakes. Gets a foul. Gets the at one. And Cat's going to the free throw line. He's got 26 points. Yeah, everything going their way. You see the pressure once again forcing the turnover. Getting out and running. And great job there finding Cat running the floor. And look at the patience here as he gets both Puerto Rican defenders up in the air. Step through in the finish. Free throw coming up for Carl Nancy Towns. Twenty-six points so far for Cat. Five for five for the free throw line. Already Cat three for seven from the perimeter. Converts the three-point play. It's the Dominican Republic. A solid position in this game. Eleven-point lead to the Dominicans. The team gets a loser at the 2023 FIBA Boston World Cup. Howard goes in, just comes down the pressure. Nice little tinge up there for Howard. Well, and that's what they need to see if you're Puerto Rico. Howard, first basket of the game, but he's a guy that can get going for them. Montero kicks out of Feliz. Finds Kyle Anthony Tau with a two-handed rim rock at the dive time. Coming from Andreas Feliz. Yeah, beautiful pass there. Puerto Rico got a little lost in there. Defensive rotations, Cat with the easy dunk. Go back to George Condit. Condit going in and just responded with a one-handed flush. That's right over Colin Anthony Towns. You like the aggression there from big man George Condit. Yeah, that's a great finish there. The left-handed dunk right on Towns. Beautiful pick and roll action there. And he could bring it down to a nine-point ball game. Montero losing his balance. Okay, there's no help side defense. And probably a bailout foul there from Howard. Okay, Jordan is looking very relaxed, of course. As you mentioned, has struggled to really get it going so far here in this group stage. Look at the pick and roll scenario. Condit just made it, sending a message to Cat. I don't care if you're an NBA player, but then Cat responding. Hey, big man, you want to play dirty? I'm going to throw it down. Three-time NBA superstar with the Minnesota Timberwolves. And I've liked this adjustment continuing from the end of the second quarter, but sticking with those four perimeter players around the five, making it difficult for Puerto Rico to help. So you see a lot more space in the paint for their, you know, not only Cats drives, but their guards to be able to get downhill and attack. Montero making an 11 point ball game yet again. It's going to have to be a potential 2 for 1 maybe here for Puerto Rico. Single digits would be good for them going into the fourth quarter. Puerto Rico don't want to be in a situation where they have two defeats going into the final game. The Italians defeating Serbia today. That made them both 3 and 1. Three from Waters, and Waters with, again, he is unconscious right now, coach. Yeah, great job there. They've been setting pin down sc screens for him off the ball. He's knocked down two deep threes coming off of those so far. Well, Puerto Rico don't want to commit a foul here. Don't want to send Dominican Republic to the free throw line, but they come up with a steal. Trailing by eight points. Bad foul there by Victor Lees because it's the fourth team foul before they send Puerto Rico to the free throw line. But Victor Lee is trying to make the argument to Guillermo Locatelli. Hey, that's the same thing that happened to me when he took the ball off of me, but that's good officiating by our official from Brazil. 
Well, actually, as you mentioned, a good foul there for the Dominican Republic, able to slow down that transition opportunity from Waters. Waters now pulls up, half court. Oh, baby! Tres puntos, por favor! And again, when you want a three-pointer, and you know this rain dropping through this building, you go to the buckets, and in the name of Plies, Trevon Waters, ay Dios mío, incredibly as they would say back in Puerto Rico, this guy is a Puerto Rican splash bro, they love it, it's now a five point ball game, that's unbelievable there for Trevon Waters. Yeah, Waters trying to keep his team alive, two deep threes there at the end of the quarter to cut this deficit to five. Well, there are some stats so far here, but let's listen to what the coaches have to say. Garcia's going to get some final words. So now we're going to take a look at the top plays here in the third quarter. Carl Anthony Towns coach, 29 points so far in this game. He's having fun. Well, I think the spacing has really helped them when the DR went to that four guard lineup around him or Pena as the perimeter shooter around him. It just gives him so much more room to operate. Well, Andreas Feliz, yeah, that's six foot two as I already mentioned, taking on six foot 11. This guy does not care how big you are. He shows no fear. Well, he's been tremendous in this World Cup, both inside finishes and outside from the perimeter. Chabot Waters having a very productive third quarter. Big time step up there for me. He had 14 points at the beginning of the second half. He's now doubled, no, almost doubled that tally. He has 26. Connor getting the big throw down, but right here, Tremont Waters. That was his sixth three point field goal of the game. That is from half court, coach. That is incredible. Well, his range is incredible. And, you know, we know what kind of dynamic player he is. He's going to have to continue this hot shooting to keep Puerto Rico in the game. Use that QR code to get courtside 1891. Well, both Trevon Waters and Carl Anthony Towns just below 30 points at the moment. Waters, six for 11 from the perimeter, as we mentioned, 12 of those, four three pointers coming in that third quarter. While well, Cat right now, top score at 29. Cat currently three rebounds away from a double double, but you know he's going to get that by the end of this game at some point. Well, and Coach Garcia coming right back with Cat, but he's now paired him with Delgado. So they, they've gone back to that double big lineup. Not as much spacing for, for Cat on the perimeter for these isolations. Final 10 minutes. Dominican Republic wins this. They'll be 4 0 and in driving force to reach the quarterfinals. Well, Puerto Rico would move to 2 and 2, so it's imperative that they win. It's got 29, doesn't get this three-pointer. Two possession game potentially here, depending what Puerto Rico go for. Now it got him by Feliz. Six threes for Water, can he make it seven? No problem. Well, Steve Kerr is in Manila right now. He may need to make some additions to the Splash Brothers. I'm just saying, Coach. <laughs> well, in fuego, you could say, for Waters right now. Great set there from Coach Cologne, coming off the baseline screens, knocking it down as a catch-and-shoot player. Now we're trying to match up with Carl Anthony Townsend. He gets the AM1. Well, Cat is just dominating here with 31 points and another AM1 for Cat. Yeah, but again, they keep letting him go to that strong right hand. When you pressure him out in the perimeter, you gotta at least make him beat you going to his left. Cat can extend Dominican Republic's lead back to five points. Mentioned already three rebounds away from the double-double. Makes the three-point play. Well, what a story this would be for Chad Garcia. FIBA America champion 2015 with Elvino Tito, Venezuela. Relieved of his duties with Argentina just prior to the FIBA America. How it gets bumped. It's also the damn one, but he'll go to the charity stripe. And Puerto Rico at the moment, 11 15 for the free throw line so far this evening. Good chance for him to. It's a smart move there, just initiate the contact with Martero. 
Well, you can see with Waters on fire right now, they've got him playing the two, so he's coming off of screens. That's occupying all these help defenders, so opportunity for Howard to attack without a lot of bodies in the paint there to help. Howard makes the first free throw. Yeah, this game has the recipe of a FIBA America Dobby. Puerto Rico winning that competition three times. The highest Dominican Republic ever finish. He's getting a bronze medal. Dominican Republic's highest finish in a FIBA World Cup was actually in this arena, Coach, 1978. That was the highest ever finish. And it wasn't in the medal round for sure, but that's definitely going to change how this FIBA World Cup's been going for them. And Puerto Rico back in that matchup zone defense there. That's just discipline defense from Montero and Colin Anthony Towns. Maybe a slight reach there, but Charles Bach, would say it's a lot of the game. Well, Puerto Rico also needs to understand they've got to get this ball across just 20 seconds right now on the shot clock. we got to be quick now. Now it's going to have to avoid the shot clock, excuse me, the eight second violation. Howard back to George Condit. Kicks out to Ortiz. Back to Howard, can tie the game up. That's not going in. As you see that Dominican Republic face guarding Tremont Waters. Don't want him to get the ball back. Feliz down the middle. Feliz just going to attack the rim and extending Dominican Republic's lead back to five points. Yeah, that's a mistake from Ortiz. Out there guarding Delgado on the perimeter instead of rotating to help. Well, now Carlos Peralta, a referee from Ecuador, and Guilherme Locatelli, I think they will talk this over. Coach, from first glance, did you feel there was potential scope there for an unsportsmanlike foul? Well, you can see uh, Carl Anthony Towns down here grimacing. I didn't see what happened. I don't think Cat was involved in the play. I think the foul was on Penny, I believe. But we'd have to see the replay. I think Cat maybe, I'm just assuming, something from the previous offense, but let's find out. Peralta and Locatelli are two officials. So this is where Cat, that's where Cat got the knock. So I think they are going to review this, and I'm pretty sure it was Pena who stopped Jamal Waters in transition. The question is, will this get upgraded? Well, I think uh, if they're going to look at anything, it would be the, the contact there on Carl Anthony Towns. We, no, we're going to make two reviews, OK? I got to talk to him, too. Coach, the speed the just, 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 okay, let's go. Potentially, see a potentially, I'm saying, okay. double on sports. Like, let's listen now to Guilherme Locatelli and Carlos Peralta, our two referees. Sportsman, like foul. In the first contact, not this. We're going to come back here later. Just run, just run. Run the game. OK? So. This, this foul, this, this, keep going, keep going. Okay, go to your, go to this camera here. Go. No more speed, please. You see, he never tried to play the ball. He never tried to play the ball, okay? So two actions. We have a foul and he tried to kill. So this foul number zero, we're supposed to upgrade for the sportsman like, okay? Upgrade for the sportsman like. Then we go backwards in that possible act of violence, okay? This one. Now I wanna see the rebound, okay? This camera. Let's go normal speed, please. This is a, a regular basketball play, okay? We can have an act of violence because he's always straight to the player. Okay, but must be C2 or C1. Yeah. It's not enough for C2. We can call Rabat to Arthur. Okay, okay, you can come here, please. Let's check here. This, the point is now, this foul, number zero, zero, number zero, zero, okay? Regular speed. He is playing the rebound. There is no elbows. He's trying to go to river. And the score, it comes to Okay, so. For me, for me, if I can act, he never tried to play the ball. It was a no legal 
of basketball movement and also go straight to the player and we have a nice of violence too. Okay, what do you think about this play? Is a regular basketball play or is a not attempt to play the ball? The ball is already in the ring. There is no chance for rebound this play. Sure. So I agree with you. I yeah. agree with you, okay? So we have two one sportsman like fouls. Yeah. We have two one sportsman like zero, zero, so. zero, zero, zero and zero white. And zero white, okay? We, have, we cancel the ball. Both and we keep we the, the ball, ball in the backcourt. With 24 seconds in the shot clock. Perfect. Excellent. So that's the solution. I'm gonna report yeah. the first one sportsman like and it will upgrade the second, okay? Yeah. Okay. Well, coach, that's, that's, that's an there. interesting that's decision. Act of violence. Zero, zero, and sportsmanlike, okay? This one. So, what do we have? Which is very interesting, coach. The reason what I want to have? ask you is, we went to review a player, I can't remember which game it was, but they said we can't go back and give a foul that we didn't give. But the case this time, they did go back and give the upgrade to John Holland, even though they didn't call a foul. Well, that's the thing right there, uh, you know, for them to go back on a play that they didn't even have an initial foul on, determined that they felt it was an unsportsmanlike, uh, a little surprised that that was the decision they came up with. But because it's a double unsportsmanlike, he cancels each other out, so Puerto Rico getting the ball back. That's gonna be the 13th out against Dominican Republic. They lead by five points. 7.56 to go here in the fourth quarter. But Nelson Collard just having a word with the referee. Nesta Garcia just staring them down as well. You like that intensity? I think everybody's still a little confused at what had happened there and a long stoppage of play trying to get that sorted out. So let's see how both teams come out here. Finding Howard on the hand up. Pulls up for a quick three. That's a big time three pointer. That's a two pointer. And his foot on the line. Yeah, big shot there from Howard. Puerto Rico back into that matchup zone right now. Howard never really does lack any confidence. That's when you definitely need at times like these. And taking on Ortiz. Looking around the basket. And again, they're going to pull the foul there. That's two people. They're going to definitely call this on Christopher Ortiz, I believe, because that's a good block by George Condit. Well, better job there of getting or, uh, getting Cat to his left hand. It's definitely in contact there for sure from Ortiz. He didn't need to necessarily do that. Uh, just a little too much there uh, on the waist, but. You know, better adjustment there with the one-on-one -on -one defense, not allowing Cat to get to his right hand. That's made all of his free throws tonight. He's now eight for eight from the charity stripe. 33 points for the man for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Well, Christopher Ortiz, the El Capitan of this Puerto Rican team, picks up that foul. Makes a both. Remains 100%. I mean, his free throw shooting has been phenomenal, as you would expect, of course, from a three time NBA All Star. But go to that first game against the Philippines at the Philippine Arena. I think he only missed one or two free throws and had like, what, 21? Well, he was living at the free throw line in that game, and you can see the skill set on display. Such a tough cover, able to knock down the perimeter jump shots, but also put it on the deck, draw contact. All in trying to initiate some contact here against Andreas Feliz. What is pick and roll here with George Condit. Condit goes in. That's a hot foul by Carl Anthony Towns. So two free throws coming off of Condit. You like the pick and roll scenario there with Waters and big man George. Yeah, Condit, nice job there setting the screen, rolling hard to the basket. Waters able to find him there with a nice pocket bounce pass. This is a good hot foul by Carl Anthony Towns. Condit obviously missing some free throws already this evening. You go again, not a bad foul at all. All right, Mr. Both. Pressure just getting to him. Maybe that could be a defensive game plan there for the Dominican Republic. 
If Connett's in the paint, take that chance. Send him to the charity stripe. He's now going to that pick and roll scenario here with Colin Anthony Towns. Condit trying to prevent him from getting the ball. It leaves with a big time shot. And that's a huge three pointer by Andres Felipe. Wow, he's just hit so many big shots in this World Cup so far. Been lights out from three, and it seems like everyone in big moments. Well, this is going to be the 15th foul against the Dominican Republic, but again, coach that's sending George Condit back to the free throw line. This could be a potential strategy here for the Dominican Republic. Yeah, you know, you have to be careful with uh, the unsportsmanlike fouls when you intentionally foul. Uh, but certainly, uh, Condit having his struggles right now from the free throw line. George Condon right now making his first free throw of the game. He's one for five this evening. Puerto Rico have missed six free throws. Think about it, Coach. You make those six of those free throws, and you're only down by one point. Condon makes the second one. Six and a half to go here in the fourth quarter. In for Republic, lead it by six points. Find Cat here on the pick and pop. Cat's made three threes. Doesn't get this one. And Puerto Rico don't take care of the boxing. The boxing out, of course. On the second chance for Dominican Republic. Antonio trying to use a contact. Not getting that goes out of bounds. That's going to remain Dominican Republic ball. Well, I think they should try to challenge this one because clearly it does come off the continent. Yeah, I'm not so sure. It looked like uh, Cat maybe at the end of that play sticking his hand in there. Well, no challenge here, no replay. Dominican Republic will keep possession. Six minutes to go. Trying to remain undefeated here in the FIBA Vasa World Cup. Good outside defense. Oh, great job by John Holland. Has Montero right behind him. Only goes all the way, finds Condit. Big man goes up, gets the M1. Again, a chance to make this a three-point ball game here for Puerto Rico. And what a play from Holland. The steal on one end, pushing it down the court. And the over-the-head pass here to Condit. Beautiful drop-off. Oh, that's a hell of a dive, isn't it? He will never stop believing in his team. Missing his first four free throws. Now it's three for three in his last three attempts. Okay, that's a lot of time and space there for Andres Feliz. No need to rush this for the Dominican Republic. Great defense. That's going to remain Dominican ball on the base on eight seconds here on the shot clock. Solano checking into the game for the Dominicans. Montero coming out. Quinones being guided by Holland. That's going to be an offensive foul and a costly play there by Quinones. Again, who else, coach? Who is making it happen on the defensive end for the Puerto Ricans? Yeah, once again, Holland stepping up here with a huge play. And that's his fifth personal foul. Again, he's going to argue with the referee. Cat, of all people, trying to get him off the floor. Nobody wants to pick up a technical foul right now. Yeah, big call there. Quinone is finally uh, shaking off his shooting slumps. He's having a nice game here offensively. When you think back, too, to those close block charge calls, had two of them not go his way. Quinones right now just needs to sit down. His team's in the lead. Totally understand he's frustrated, no doubt, of course. What is hesitation going right to the crack and take it, Pena. Back to Ludiversidad de Balofesto. I'm going to have to start calling Tremont Waters El Profesor at the moment. Yeah, beautiful hesitation move there. Penetration, kick out. Towns going to the basket. Towns won't. Jesus, Louise. Call Anthony Towns. Howard 
three, transition, got it! And Puerto Rico find themselves back up by two points with 4.49 to go, Dominican Republic. The momentum has changed, coach. Yeah, absolutely. Just when you thought they were out of this game, fighting their way back in. Now, Puerto Rico wins this game, and if, and I mean by if, because there's plenty of time left, we will have four teams in this group in the second round, all will be three and one. That will make things very interesting on the final day. Yeah, no question. Big three there from Howard. Good to see him coming alive with his offense. Well, that was Carl Anthony Towns. Ken, he has been phenomenal as always. 34 points in this game. Second top scorer, though, Trevon Waters. Coach, I tell you, he's putting the whole world on alert right now. He is just showing what an elite player he is. Oh, no question about it. The three-point shooting on display, but I think, you know, almost as important, just one turnover here in the second half, uh, done a really good job of being strong with the ball in addition to the lights-out shooting. Well, there is the play energy tracker of both Carl Anthony Downs and Jamal Waters. Wood has had to play 31 minutes so far in this game. Yeah, Puerto Rico back in the matchup zone once again here. Funny cat, big and pop, big three is up. And Carl Anthony Towns with a huge dagger. That's what they needed. Coach, that is a big response there for Carl Anthony Towns. 37 points in the game. Solano committing the foul, so Puerto Rico will go to the free throw line here for two shots, and again, they foul Tremont Waters. Yeah, Solano needs to be more disciplined there with his defense, but you see the big pick-and-pop three-pointer there from Pat. Puerto Rico electing to hedge on those pick-and-rolls rather than switch. Pat able to find separation and knock it down. Well, Cat has four three-point field goals in the game. Andreas Feliz has a miss of three. He's four for four for the perimeter, but Tremont Waters Currently in the free throw line, five for five for the charity start. But coach, I mean, again, 58% for the perimeter, seven for 12. He is just something else. No, uh, he's on fire right now. You're seeing all the skill on display. And Puerto Rico back in the zone again. They've had some success here in the fourth quarter. Slowing down that offense from the DR, taking away some of those top of the key isolations that they were using in the third quarter. Cat down the lane, Carl Anthony Towns with no regard for the Puerto Rican health side defense. Well, Cat just doing cat things on the basketball floor. Yeah, beautiful pump fake there, got Condit off the uh, ground, and the Thunder finish there. The four minutes, one point lead. Waters with a tough fadeaway. And it just rolls its way in and out. Dominican Republic just surviving the onslaught here. 39 points for Carl Anthony Towns. The moment he is a man possessed. Back to the play, finding Victor Lee's. He's pump faced well. Hot block here by Pinheiro. No foul calls. Yeah, great strip there from Pinheiro. Lee is able to sneak back door. The door goes up, off the backboard at three, taking the lead for Puerto Rico. Yeah, big play there, Pinheiro. Not only the strip on the back door cut, but on the other end, the tough finish in the basket. This could go right down to the wire. Not making a penetration, splits the defense. Can't get it. But he's what a no look dime coming from Carl Anthony Towns. But well, he's more than just a score and a rebound, a coach. You know that very well. Well, beautiful pass there from Cat, but better job from Puerto Rico of making him go to that weaker left hand. Just have to make sure they come up with the offensive, uh, the rebound on the miss. 
On and falling up for an offensive board. Takes a tough one and gets the ab one. And Jorgeo Condit is going to the charity stripe. And a chance for Puerto Rico up by two points. Yeah, and that's what he does best. Leading the World Cup in offensive rebounds at almost five per game. Well, Carl Anthony Towns just put the rest of the world on notice. The Naismith Trophy is coming back to the Dominican Republic. Condon's made his last three free throws here for the Puerto Ricans. Makes it again. Missed his first four, but has made his last four. Two-point lead of Puerto Rico. He's missed a three-pointer so far for the Dominican Republic. That's a hard foul by Tremont Waters. So two free throws coming up for Andres Felipe. Yeah, and that's what Felice has done this entire tournament for this team. Every time they needed a big play, he has delivered. Puerto Rico went back to that matchup zone there. He's able to get downhill and draw the foul. Double-double coming for Trump. What is 33 points and 10 assists? He's got quite a few rebounds as well for that matter, Coach. Yeah, he's just three re rebounds away from the first ever triple-double at the World Cup, and to do that with 33 points gives you an idea of the dominance he's shown here tonight. Well, this would be big for the Dominican Republic. Chance to tie the game up. This game, of course, just going back and forth. Makes both free throws, 93 apiece. Two minutes to go. Now we find a George Condon. Yeah, try to find a big man. He just turned it over. Well, how has got to take care of the ball, make a better pass for the big man. Yeah, that pass a little bit behind Condit there. And you know, Puerto Rico's gone away from those sets that had Waters coming off the screens as a shooting guard. I thought that was some good action there, especially with the way he's shooting the ball right now. He's looking to attack and get the back to play. Howard just blew to sleep on defense. Yeah, that's twice now the Dominican guards able to slip behind their man for the easy layup. That's good, Yarrow. Howard go for Hellmary to it again. Right now, Puerto Rico don't need heroes, coach. That's three poor possessions defensively and two on offense. Yeah, I think he's trying to make up for the backdoor layup he gave up there. You want to see Puerto Rico being a little more disciplined with their offense. And he's going up, get it rejected by George Condit. Again, lucky that went out of bounds because Carl Anthony Towns is running in for the offensive board. The legend Carlos Arroyo is only just to our left, currently watching this game. Yeah, beautiful block there from Condit and great job of using his left hand to contest the right hand and layup of Pena. He's kicking out, big three-pointer here for Pena. Republic finally go up by five points. Puerto Rico trailing by two. What is shifted, shaky, in and out. Carl Anthony Towns, are you kidding me? Jamal Waters currently 35 points. Now he just took that one right on Carl Anthony Towns. Oh, the skill on display there. Throw down the lane, finds the back door. Good rejection by George Condit. That's a big time block. Victor Lees is down. This is a big moment now. Holland wide open, three, got it! That is a big time shot by a big time player. Sean Holland down one in on the offense. But coach, we gotta go to George Condit. Condit becoming the ultimate no me casa. Este es la casa del George Condit. And then the big time triple A, Esta Fuego. He is on fire right now, coach. Yeah, huge play there. But if you're Victor Lees, you've got to get back in defense there. Wanted the call from the officials, didn't get it. Slow to get back and all in making the pay with the transition three. There's a lot of time left. Well, this is big time. Let's listen now what these coaches have to say. Big shot, big shot, we good, we good. Down, down. We good, we good. Down, down. 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 We good. Down
Minuto de tres. We're making a three with Ife. Ooh. 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 Well, a man who I used to watch as a kid never forget that game in the Olympics against the USA when he led Puerto Rico to that historic win. The pass, the fake pass in transition that made Amari Stoudemire almost fall to the ground. But it's just so great to see a former great with, and of course, we know he works with the Federation, but with this national team here in Manila. Yeah, all the stars here to watch this game. And you heard Coach Garcia there. They want to go for three on this play. Puerto Rico should look to switch here, make sure that there's not three that's going to tie this game. Well, big possession now for Puerto Rico. Montero on the floor. And Andreas Feliz. Now, do you go for a three-pointer right here? 31.1 seconds. Well, the, you know, Coach Garcia asking for the three. They have a set play here. Well, they advance the ball, so it's not a fresh 24. Well, Cat trying to be super bad. Was that the right choice to go for, Coach? What is what? Well, that's going to keep that as a regular foul, I believe. A referee from Lebanon, Rama Mujahim. So big free throws coming up for Tremont Waters. 35 points in the game so far. Six for six from the charity strike. He's been phenomenal. Yeah, and you'd like to see the Dominican Republic get a better look than that. You heard Carl Anthony Towns in that timeout asking what the play call was. So not a great sign in terms of his comfort level. Didn't get a great look there. This would be monumental. 20.3 seconds, now it's a two possession game. You know, Puerto Rico ought to win this. We're gonna have Italy, Serbia, Dominican Republic, and now Puerto Rico, all three and one. That means last day of this second group is going to be able to play for to decide who gets to the quarterfinals of the 2023 FIBA Basketball World Cup. And the DR needs to go quickly here. Just try to find something fast. Doesn't have to necessarily be a three-pointer, but get something to the rim quickly. If the defense collapses, you can kick out for threes. Montero trying to go the way. No problem whatsoever. Cutting it down to a three-point ball game. And now Nelson Collada is going to call timeout. Trying to keep his cool here. Very, you know, haven't spoken with him. He's a hell of a person. Really nice guy to talk to. You can see right now the intensity of him. Very disappointed that his players allow Montero to go coast to coast. Well, nice job there from Montero. Pushing tempo, getting all the way to the rim. And, you know, if you're Puerto Rico, what hurts you most is the quick basket, not, not necessarily the three. They stayed hugged out on the perimeter, concerned about the three-pointer. Well, big time on there for Delson Collard. Trying to make sure that his players are very organized, getting the ball in bound. They don't want to turn it over, Coach. Well, yeah, first and foremost, they got to get the ball in. You know, secondary to that, finding the guys that you want on the free throw line. Waters, obviously, your first option. Conant has had some issues on the free throw line. Here, the Dominican Republic, I think there's enough time here to try to trap initially, especially if it is Waters or Howard, one of the smaller guards, before you foul. John Holland's going to inbound this. Well, there's the foul. They're going to send Howard to the free throw line. All he's got to do really is make one of them. Big both. It's more or less a done deal. 13.6 seconds left. Well, you see uh, Kat's frustration there. I think he wanted the same thing. Was coming over for the double team. Montero putting him on the line before they had the opportunity to trap. You know, there's something about this Puerto Rican team. 
In that game against Serbia, when they went down by 30 points and brought it back to 10, there's just something about the, the DNA of this team, the camaraderie, the synergy, that really makes them, you know, a team that potentially can make it to the quarterfinals. Well, both these teams have shown the ability to come back from big deficits. Well, Montero's gonna have to go for three now. He's up for a quick one. Three is up, no good. Throw the loose ball. Italese tries a three-point. Ladies and gentlemen, Puerto Rico are gonna hand the Dominican Republic their first defeat here in the 2023 FIBA Basel World Cup. Congratulations, felicidades to the Puerto Ricans. Carlos Arroyo entering the court to celebrate with his hermanos. But this makes things very interesting, Coach. Going into the final day of this group stage, we're going to have four teams all with the same record, all vying to get to the quarterfinals. Yeah, everything up for grabs in that final day here. Big win from Puerto Rico. Looked like they were on the ropes and done, but Waters able to step up with some huge threes there to lead them to the win. Well, again, the DNA of these two teams, Dominican Republic shocking everybody, top of the group, defeating Italy and Puerto Rico. You know, it was that close overtime victory against South Sudan in their opening game that got them to this spot, but game by game, they just seem to get better and better. Well, you know, they really believe in themselves, finding a way to win each game and doing it with grit and toughness. Condit, once again, coming up big with seven rebounds and 18 points. Well, again, the collective brotherhood, Los Hermanos, La Familia, they have done it. They will celebrate with their fans. George Condit with the big block, down one end, and then John Holland with the dagger. The three-pointer, that was good night for the Dominicans. Well, it's going to be interesting now because Puerto Rico have to match up with Italy for their final game. While Serbia, they will match up with Dominican Republic. We could see one European team, one, you know, American team, but we could see both or both the other go through. It's incredible. Yeah, those are going to be two very big games, obviously. Italy and Serbia watching this one closely. Well, there are stats. Carl Anthony Towns, 39 points. Trevon Waters, coach, he's just built differently. Well, you know, we saw star power on display. It was really the third quarter. Carl Anthony Towns able to have his way, but Waters in that fourth quarter stepping up with some huge threes. Well, here are the top plays in the fourth quarter. It's all about that man. His, I mean, I'm telling you right now, 4.5 kilometers away from here, Steve Kerr is probably watching this game and thinking, man, I like this guy. <laughs> well, you know, great set there to start the fourth quarter. Waters coming off those baseline stagger screens, and that got him rolling. Well, unbelievable finish in the end. Howard, that was a big bucket for him. It was a two-point shot, but again, a big momentum changer. And Andreas Feliz didn't miss a three-pointer tonight, but just not enough to help the Dominican Republic stay undefeated. But all is not over here for these for these two teams. One final day, and they'll play against their rivals of the FIBA Eurobasket here at the 2023 FIBA Basel World Cup. Well, Condit came big in the end. Offensively, he was phenomenal, but some of his key block shots, coach, those were underlying factors in this game. Yeah, no question. Uh, you know, his toughness and defense has been a backbone for this Puerto Rican team. Seeing it on display again here tonight. That was the dunk by Carl Anthony Towns. Well, clear the runway. Towns just went in and just ripped the rate down with his right hand. Well, a couple of, you know, we have seen this quite a lot in their offense. They do like to go to those backdoor plays on the weak side. Well, there are a couple of times those weak side defenders were caught staring at the ball, not seeing their guys slip behind them. Well, great defense, but that was the final three-pointer by John Holland, currently playing for Apoel Tel Aviv in the Israeli Winter League. And no doubt some Israeli fans will be watching, looking at their superstar for next season. Yeah, a huge three there from Holland. But again, if you're Victor Lees, you've got to get back and transition defense and match up there. Well, big, big time play here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, those are our two final games of the day. Well, what close encounters they were. The Italians 
winning by two points. Puerto Rico winning by five. And now we have now four teams with records of three wins and only one loss, which is going to make things hella interesting in our final day. For now, it's Buenos Noches and adios.